Hey Life Church! So today's video corresponds with the January 9th devotion. Um, in today's scripture, it talks about having faith and believing for the glory of God. Um, so I'm a huge control freak. Um, for those of you that know me well, you know that it's very true. Um, when it comes to situations in my life, um, I think if I control it, that everything's going to fall into place, that everything's going to be done right, and that it's all going to be okay. Um, I've never even been on an airplane before because either myself or someone that I trust is not in control of the plane. And that sounds absolutely crazy. It sounds crazy me even saying it right now, but it's something that I really struggle with in my life. Um, I've been in church all of my life. Um, I've been a Christian for a long time, and I know that that's not how God intended it to be. I know that that's not the way I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to put all my trust in Him. Um, there have been many times in my life that I've missed seeing the glory of God because I've put my faith in myself and controlling the situations in my life rather than putting my faith in him and believing that he's going to take care of it. Um, it is so easy for me to have faith for you. Um, you come to me. You need me to help you pray for something. There's something going on in your life. I have faith for you all day. I have the faith that God is going to take care of it, that he's going to heal you, that he's going to take care of the situations in your life. I have lots of faith when it comes to you. But when it comes to myself and my own situations, I struggle. Um, and this may only be for me today. Um, but the only way to truly see what God has in store for our lives and to see his glory fall in our lives is to put all of our faith in him. Believe that he's going to take care of it. It only takes a little bit, like the scripture said, for God to turn it into something big and miraculous. And I don't know about you, but I want to see the big and miraculous in my life, in my family's life, in our church, in your life. So I ask, pray for me this year as I pray for you and our church that our faith would grow and that we would all see the glory of God like never before. I love you, Life Church.